Hi, Pete Rhodes of Shooting Sports Magazine, and what we have here is the Henry Big Boy Steel. Um, basically, the Henry name, as many of you might or might not know, goes back to the 1860s, and it was one of the first lever action repeaters, or successful ones, and he hooked up with Winchester, and uh, the resultant gun, the Henry, which was a, a forward loading magazine, morphed into the um, 1866 or Yellow Boy, which is quite famous, and, and that's really how the Winchester story started. So Henry are, are a company who have obviously picked up the name, but what they've done, they've built a decent quality classic style lever action, as you can see here, but they've retained the Henry's um, ability to load through the front. As you can see, there's no loading gate, as you'd see on a Marlin 94 or a Winchester 94. Um, admittedly, it's a little bit different to the original Henry one, but what happens is, to fill the gun, as you can see there, there's like a J-shaped cutout with a, with a follower lug. You turn this, and this is the follower tube that also has a sprung feed in, inside it. So what happens is this, this comes out so far, uncovers the loading port, the rounds are dropped in, this one takes 10 in 357 and the 11 in uh, 38 Special. Rounds back in, it's locked back in, and then as before, it's a standard lever action. Unlike their earlier guns, which all showed horrible shiny brass frames, this steel gun, I think it's stronger and sort of looks nicer, they have taken a fair bit of their building cue from the Marlin at 1894. Um, it comes with standard sights. You've got a semi-buckle elevator wedge here and a big tall blade up front. This one can be um, drifted left and right for windage and this one Literally, you just lift the sight up, move the wedge backwards and forwards to give you elevation. So it's also drilled and tapped four mounts. Um, I'm not sure it's going to be Marlin mount, but it makes quite a lot of sense because this sort of artillery is very popular in the UK since the handgun ban, almost like surrogate pistols. So a lot of people would get a gun like this, put a rail on it, and then probably put a red dot on top of it. Straight hand stock, um, slightly bulbous forend. Nice idea, two QD swivels. This is a 20 inch 357 gun. Typically for the calibre, 357 is just a longer 38 special, and this rifle will take it both, both calibres. In fact, I was playing with it this morning, and you can put one 357, one 38, and it loads it. The only thing you've got to think of with a lever action rifle of this style is you need to operate them hard and fast. So it's bang. If you start doing this, then you're going to have problems with reliability. So basically, it's quick as you like and it's fine. Um, a little bit different, and don't laugh, it's also a Henry. This is the Mayor's Leg. And it's a 2-2 gun. Um, they, they do them centre fire. Uh, it's got a little short barrel, cut down stock, um, and I'm not actually sure what you can really do with it. it it's, it's unusual. Um, you've got the same sighting setup, but here you've got an 11mm integral dovetail on, on the iron receiver. The gun loads in a very similar fashion. The only difference is that there's no, because of the abbreviated magazine, there's no round port. So the follower comes right out, you drop the rounds in, and just put it back in as before. Um, as you can see, it's, you can't really put it in your shoulder. It's a bit too big and heavy to be a pistol. And I found the best way to shoot it is probably out like that. Uh, and also, a better way would be to put a mount on it and put a red dot scope on it. I was talking to the guys at Viking and they said when this mayor's leg came out in both centre fire and rim fire calibres, um, they sold like hotcakes. I can understand why, but um, it's, it's a real neither fish nor fowl gun, though it is reliable. So what they'll do, we'll just put a few rounds for each of these two rifles. So ears on. So pull the follower out to there. This is 38 special. It's a cowboy load by CBC Magtech. Two, three, four, five. Slide the follower back in. Lock it down. And we're off. Okay, that's the 38357.
using SK ammunition here, which is another import from Viking. So as you see in this case, this follower comes out, just drop the rounds down. Follow goes back in, push and lock, and now you see you haven't got a lot of control over the gun when you have to lever it. But so a bit of a wobble factor there. Um, fun and different. Of the two, I feel that the, the big boy steel is one I like. Well made, good solid material. Uh, it's a bit slower on loading because the pull-out mag tube, but actually loading is easy compared to a gate because the gate can be quite awkward to catch in your thumb. This, however, again, a bit of fun. I don't know, but whatever. They're a couple of interesting, reliable rifles. Catch you later.